This is the book of Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. It quotes, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord Yahweh, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Yahweh. I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who have taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, laboring in the vine and risking their lives to bring out this truth. Shalom also to the few aquats who are listening and you know putting to the best of their abilities this truth and also to the speckled beds who are sincerely seeking the truth shalom so as i just read i am going to read again this is the book of joshua chapter 24 from verse 15 it quotes and if it seem evil unto you to serve the lord yahweh choose you this day whom ye will serve whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the amorites in whose land ye dwell but as for me and my house we will serve yahweh so fellow akiams and a few aquats this is the time you all need to make a decision you know this is the time to choose a side where do you stand okay because as the scripture says you know the most high yahaba shem yahasha will not be mocked you know you can't be lukewarm it is either yes or nay okay you can't pretend you know to love the most high and not do what he commands you to do or rather go do things he didn't command he command you not to do you know this is hypocrisy and it's really time that yo choose sides now because you know the moment is coming in which you would not be able to choose any sides you know this is just um this is um this is the moment in which you know y'all can do these things you know so i'm saying this because you know now with all these you know tricks that you know the so-called white man which is um esau you know he's be putting out there you know and creating this kind of superficial um not true sort of freedom you know it gives you a sort of freedom and takes everything away from you you know so he's forcing people to take the waters now you know so they can have this kind of um sense of freedom you know partake in the clubs you know party you know go around places and travel and do all different kinds of things you know many jakes that actually plan not to take this waters this poisonous waters you know what i'm talking about you know which is i'm talking about the vic royale you know so many of these jakes that have you know decided not to take it you know they're going to get enticed to taking these things you know so this is actually what the devil does, you know. He gives you a kind of illusion of freedom, you know, to take away the real true freedom that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has given us. And we know that the, re the riches, the enjoyments and pleasures of this world is nothing compared to the one that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is, is about to give us, you know. So this is time to choose sides, you know. It is time to make a decision. Where do I stand? Do I stand with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and decide to suffer now, you know, in order to get into that, you know, eternal life that I've been promised? Because nothing, you know, nothing, nothing good comes so easily, you know. Nothing good comes easily in this kingdom. Then think less of, you know. The eternal life that the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has promised us, you know, 
we need to give some sacrifice and do some sacrifice you know prepare um prepare um present our bodies as a living sacrifice you know so it's time not to be you know a hypocrite to choose you know but as for me and my house we will serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and we will do what he tells us not to do. We shouldn't make curtains in our flesh for the dead, you know, it's a commandment. We wouldn't let Esau put this water in our bodies, you know. We wouldn't take the mark of the beast, you know, which is the microchip that is about to come, you know. We wouldn't fall for any of these things and we don't really, we don't really care. We don't care if we lose everything, you know. This is the spirit to have, you know. The scripture also says, he who loses everything for my sake shall gain everything, you know. The scripture also say, um, um, if you try to save, I'm just paraphrasing, you know, if you save your life, you'll lose it. And if you lose your life for my sake, you know, you gain it. So all those who are planning, trying to, you know, save themselves from what's about to come, you know, complying to Esau's trickery, you know they are all going to lose their lives you know so it's time to choose a side and stop being a hypocrite so let me get another scripture i'm going to read from the book of um second corinthians i'll read chapter 6 verse 14. this is the book of corinthians 6 14 second corinthians be ye not equally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness and what concord hath the anointed with belial or what part had he that believe with an infidel you know and what agreement at the temple of yahweh with idols for ye are the temple of the living power as Yahweh had said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. So it is really clear we should not be equally yoked together with unbelievers. Unbelievers are going to go ahead, you know, and present themselves to Esau for whatever Esau is coming with, you know, the waters, the poisonous waters, you know, the Vic Royal thing, you know. So they're going to present their bodies and, you know, do according to what um, Esau says. But we, we are not going to present our bodies to do such. We will do according to the, to the word of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, even if we lose our lives here, we know we're going to regain it hundredfold. And everything that we lost here, we lose here, we're going to regain it in the kingdom that is about to come. This is the faith that is living in us. This is the kind of faith we need to have, you know. So he says, for what fellowship art righteousness with unrighteousness, you know? Righteousness is, you know, so let's get, let's look at the word righteousness. Let's see what it says, you know? It's in the Greek, Greek word, dikaiosune, dikaiosune, okay? Equity or character or act, specifically, Christian justification, righteous, in a broad sense, state of him who is as he ought to be, righteous, the condition acceptable to Yahweh, okay, the condition acceptable to Yahweh, integrity, virtue, purity of life, rightness, correctness of thinking, feeling and acting, in a narrower sense, justice or virtue, which gives each his due, you know, so we are actually to live by the word of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and by his commandments, okay? So, we should not be equally yoked with those who don't have these laws, you know? We are children of the promise, you know? The sons of Jacob, we have, we have, um, the Most High had this pact with our fathers, you know? The covenant belongs to us, so we shouldn't behave like the other, sp other people who don't have this truth, you know? So we shouldn't we, we don't we don't care about we don't care about going to the clubs and partying. We don't care about all these things. We don't care about traveling to all different parts of the world or, or things like that. We know in the kingdom when the kingdom comes, 
we're going to do all these things and get them in hundred folds you know so we are not going to fall for the trickery okay by taking the waters and all those things and you know presenting our bodies to this to, to this to this wicked you know the devil the so-called white man you know so this is what makes the difference between us okay and it says and what communion at light with darkness you know when you move in according to this truth knowing the real names of the most high yahweh and his son yahweh shai obeying his commandments and putting them to the best of your abilities and following his words man you're a different man you're walking in light you know so we are not walking in darkness so we wouldn't queue up for those waters you know and fall for the trickery of this evil devil okay and what concord at the anointed with belial now if you go to the board belial excuse me what have i done oops now let's go to the word belial you see belial has an epithet of satan belial what's less or wicked okay a name of satan okay so we know satan is an adversary that's what satan actually means it means someone that does things against the most high and the word christ means the anointed you know so what hurts the anointed with you know those who are not anointed people who go against what is anointed okay or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel you know we believe in the most high yahweh hashem yahweh shai so we shouldn't put ourselves in the same position with those who don't believe in this truth you know only those who don't believe in this truth are, are going to fall for the trickery of these devils the so-called white men you know take the waters and then go on taking the mark of the beast and get destroyed at the end you know we know we know that the words of this book are going to come to pass you know and this is our fate because we are hoping on things that are not seen you know because if they are seen then it's easy you know everyone will fall in line but this is what actually this is how the most high yahweh hashem yahweh has created this movie which is this life that we're living you know and it says and what agreement had the temple of yahweh which at the temple of yahweh is our body you know with idols you know so when we let these people you know get into our own under our skin and you know inject these waters and put whatever they want to put into our bodies we are actually you know we are actually defiling our our temple which in our temple that's where the most high yahweh dwells you know our body we should present our bodies as living sacrifices you know so these are the choices we need to make you know these are the things we actually need to think about you know so well let's get another scripture still in the book of second corinthians chapter 7 i'll just read the first verse it says having therefore these promises dearly beloved let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of yahweh there is also a scripture that tells us that the fear of yahweh is the beginning of knowledge you know if you fear the most high you're going to try your best to put to the best of your ability his commandments and follow his words you know and not go after this dead world you know this ignorance and world, dead world that leads to destruction which is just at the end of its of its everything you know it's about to be destroyed you know so we actually have the fear of the most high yahweh hashem yahweh shai and this is actually what true love is man you know if you say you love someone and you don't fear that person man truly you don't love that person you know just like the apostle gaba gave a beautiful example long time ago you know he said if your wife fears you then she wouldn't go she wouldn't go and commit adultery with other people you know and this is exactly what pure love is you know so this is actually what you know what differentiates us from the world and this is the choice we've taken we've chosen a side you know we can't be that hypocrite you know you know you don't you know, you know that kind of friend you have that you know you have a problem with some other friend you know and this other friend is clearly you know not on the right side you know then you have this friend that is just in way in between is with you and is with the other guy you know 
that kind of friends that kind of friend is really annoying you know so this is exactly what it is we need to choose parts if we humans can have such feelings then think less of the most high yahweh hashem yahweh shai the most high is not going to be mocked man so let me get another book um i'll just get i think a couple of precepts more and close this lesson i don't want to make it too long this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 i'll read from verse 19 no i'll read first from 15 see i have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil okay in that i command thee this day to love yahweh thy power to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply and yahweh thy power shall bless thee in the land where thou goest to possess it you know so we've been given the choice to choose life okay and death and what is good and evil we've been given these choices and now the land that the most High has promised us it's it's a different thing now now we need to go back to that land again so you see all this is a is a sword with two edge with with two edges you know it's actually talking about the past and it's also talking about this future to come because we know that land is going to be given back to us it was promised to us so in order for us to make it into this land into this next kingdom which is a huge package of you know beauty blessing enjoyment and things that we cannot even imagine you know we need to choose you know to love yahweh our power and walk in his ways and keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments you know the most High has given us he has given us you know the opportunity of having you know his prophets around again to teach this truth starting from the um from from the elder apostles um um downwards you know from the apostle taha apostle gaba apostle ramla apostle raka then downwards to the all to the rest of the elders you know these men are actually here yeah, you know teaching us this truth and you know letting people to know what's about to come letting you to know the way you should choose you know but then they're being ridiculed okay they've been they've been they've been called names you know people are taking all these things for granted and they prefer to go on the side you know that leads to death and which is that's their choice man they're making their choice but we are not going to choose that you know we are going to choose the most idea how about shame you how shy okay then but if thy art turn away so that thou will not hear but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them i denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whither thou passest over jordan to go to possess it and this is what it is man if you go and queue up and take those waters because of you know you want to have some just few minutes of enjoyment few minutes of clubbing few minutes of traveling you know and doing all the stupid stuff you know out there you know if you fall for all this and you know go against the commandments of the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shaya has told us not to corrupt our temple you know with idols you know and these waters there is this is so is a filth you know you got you got pork in it you got all kinds of different things that are going to defile our temple you know then the, the, it's going to it's going to prepare you to take the the, the the mark of the beast you know so if you defile this body man just get ready for to, to perish you know this is exactly what it is man verse 19 i call heaven and earth to record this day against you that i have set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live fellow brethren no matter what the situation might become in the coming months in the coming you know we know we know we'll soon be out of this place man we know all hell is about to break loose if you're looking at things that are that are going on just like the scriptures tell us to do watch and pray we shouldn't only pray we should also watch as well we are saying all these prophecies are breaking out and in no time 
we can feel it that the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, who is the son of the most high, is coming to redeem us and at the same time pour out his wrath on those who go against his commandments, those who he hates, you know, the house of the wicked. And we know two thirds of the house of Jacob are also going down with the wicked, man. So now you have the choice to make choose life or choose death, okay? If you go and queue for this for this thing, man, you're gone, man. You're gone. So let me take one more scripture, then close it out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119. On verse 173. It says, Let thy hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. Okay. I have longed for thy salvation, O Yahweh, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, it shall praise thee, and let thy judgment help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. It is so beautiful. I have longed for thy salvation, O Yahweh, and this is what we are actually longing for. The salvation of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This kingdom is 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 a mess man we are suffering no matter how much money you have no matter how much careers you're following or whatever you are still seen as a second class human and i'm talking to you so-called negroes native americans and latinos who are the real sons of israel okay so we are longing for the salvation of Yahweh, and thy law is law is our delight because his laws are the true laws that, are, that, that, that govern, you know, humanity. It, it puts things in the right places, you know, not the laws of the so-called devil, the white man, you know, that turns everything upside down, that makes this place the whole mess that it is, you know. So anyway, I'm going to close this by, you know, reading from the first um from the first um scripture i actually read which is really beautiful that's the book of joshua 24 15 which quotes and if it seem evil unto you to serve yahweh choose you this day whom ye will serve whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the amorites in whose land ye dwell but as for me and my house we will serve the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I hope this lesson was edifying. So, dear brothers, let's stop being hypocrites. Man, it's time to choose. Okay, it's time to choose life or death. And you see, there is a saying that goes, Not all things that glitters is gold, nor or diamond, you know. Now Esau is trying to make it seem like oh the people that fall that take this jab and whatever they would have a better life they would leave they'll be free they will have all this they will have that they can travel they can do that they can go to clubs and all those things now it is really kind it sounds so catchy to certain people you know but hey this is how the Satan does man this is how you know the adversary of the Most High does you know he puts these things to entice you. In order to get your soul you know so you have the choice to make now now i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruka kodash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who have taught me this truth which is the hundred percent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth onto the next one shalom